Hello, welcome to the Ranyo and Duran podcast show. I'm Duran. And I'm Ranyo. And why are your name Duran again? Why are you Duran? <laughs> I'm Ranyo. I'm really trying to figure that out. That's you actually know, a great question. had to ask you that question. That's a great question. So when we were at Highland, we had a boss who could not, for the life of her, remember our names or keep them straight. Right. She kept she would sit there and constantly call everyone she didn't like and was unhappy with Daniel. But also she called you. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just like, wait, I'm not Daniel. And then she would call you Ron. And I'm just like, uh, no, switch that around. We look so similar. It's so easy. So easy to see <laughs> how she could get the two of us confused. I mean, you know. Well, that's coming from somebody that really didn't do their job and didn't actually pay attention to it or know their employees at all or what they did. That's right. She openly bragged about the fact that she didn't look at any of our resumes before coming onto our team. Our team was already created. She didn't look at our resumes and she didn't know anything about us or what we, you know, experiences, our skills or anything like that. And she bragged about that even six months into being there. Can you say bad management? That That is terrible. I do not understand how in the world you can be a manager. And how can you manage people when you don't know what they know, what they have done, anything like that? Because you can't select what jobs, what tasks they're going to work on, which was obvious because she was throwing people on random stuff. When they didn't even know what they were doing. Right. Just because you had a certification doesn't make you qualified to do any particular uh subject matter or become a subject matter expert at that even but right she she that that's what you call horrible management that is that that really is add to that that she was a micromanager and she spent yes. the whole time yelling at really me and then when i left uh logan yeah, and Corey, it, yeah and it came down to me and you yes yeah. that's right after you fell from grace because I yeah, wasn't he, there to blame. <laughs> I I decided not to become the teacher's pet anymore. Yes. You know, it, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 was hilarious. I mean, can we say, can you say metrics? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> metrics. Uh, uh, every time I see the word metrics, I just start to, uh, just start to get mad. She was, she was terrible. Absolutely horrible. Uh, truly the definition of what it is to be a bad boss a bad manager so i i feel bad for anyone who has to work under her i feel bad yeah. for her family honestly hey yeah well i mean you know how that goes you know how that is but there are people that like to work under somebody in that you know who's like that micromanaging maybe that that works for them but it doesn't work for us right and, um, evidently you see the team is not there anymore right like the team, the, i mean how do you lose a team within like having what, what was she there like three three to four weeks or almost a month and she lost a team yeah and whole, and their whole team yeah it did not yeah. that that was fast <laughs> yeah yeah you have that, to try is that a record that's that's <laughs> not uh I don't think that's. A, I think somebody had maybe a shorter time than that. The time that it takes to kill a team, you know. Uh, I don't know. That's a record for me. I haven't. I, I haven't seen anything worse than that yet. But I'm sure there's some people out there. I'm sure there is. Well, the worst part I think is that the team had at that point been coming to. Most of the team had been coming together and had figured it out. And what we really saw was she showed how a bad manager can quickly cause everything to roll back and then after that she just continued the onslaught where she lost people who had been who had liked her and the reason why they had liked her was because she spent all time going after me and some of those individuals had some issues that they needed to work out for themselves and when uh, when she was no longer going after me, they she didn't realize the reason why those people allied with her. 
and, and did not recognize that uh, some people you do not want as allies because the motives are completely wrong. <laughs> she, if she would have just listened to her team like she was supposed to, things would have went smoothly. Yeah. And she still would have had a team. Yeah. You know, whether it was the best team or not, you know, and, you know, I won't say that was the best team I've been on, but, you know, it, we know that. But uh, yeah. it, it could have it could have worked out. But, you know, that's the definition of bad management. And that's the reason why we decided to get, you know, to name ourselves that because my name is really Ron and that's Daniel. And we just kind of, I mix, since she called me Daniel, I mixed Daniel and Ron together, which has Ronnie. And then you mix Daniel and Ron together on this team, you got the Ron. Right. So that's kind of how those names came up. And we thought it was really funny to actually, you know, <laughs> do that and call our podcast that, that name, by the way. So that's right. That's right. It, it's, it works out well, especially because it is one of the major points and purposes of this is it blends together our experiences. So we wound up naming the podcast show in remembrance of the utter jackass of a boss and incompetence of management that brought us and some of our cohorts together. Yeah, that it was horrible, um, you know, and you it's bad that you will experience in some time or people in general, if you're in this field or any field, you're going to experience bad management, yeah. especially like this. Hopefully you don't have to, you know, see it like this, but you probably will experience this. I mean, to give an example of how bad she was in this field alone is, as you know, Dan, when she gave when we we're on a call with. And she says that in-map scans for algorithms. Like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, you do not know what you're talking about. And it's simple. And as simple as in-map is, you should have a great understanding of how that works, especially if you're in this field. Yeah. I don't care if you're an AppSec or anything, but what the hell? In-map scan for algorithms. <laughs> I didn't know that it does. I didn't know it do that. I didn't know <laughs> we, could, we had anything that does that or have that capability, you know? It, it was, yeah, she was terrible. She was horrible. She couldn't explain the difference between static analysis and dynamic analysis, software testing tools. She couldn't, could not draw a simple software development life cycle up on the board. I mean, you saw her, you remember, she was struggling, struggling so hard to draw it on the board. I basic stuff but she had the cssLP just like me it's all she had to do was ask to phone a friend that's right <laughs> you know i'm ronnie i'm duran and if you haven't already please subscribe to our podcast show so you can keep up to date to all our new content that are coming out pretty soon um anything you haven't seen already you can go back and view it other than that tune in for the next time thank you for watching have fun.